Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson 12 of the Chemistry 1 module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. All right. So this problem gives us a reaction and asks us to find something called the standard change in enthalpy. Now, the standard change in enthalpy of any given reaction isn't too tricky to figure out, and I'm gonna show you how we can do that. To start, we need to find the standard heat of formation for the products and the reactants. Now, every molecule is going to have a standard heat of formation. First, we want to find the standard heat of formation of each of the molecules that are products. We want to add those standard heats up. Once we do that, we're gonna do the same thing with the reactants. The molecules that we're starting with. Then we can take the sum of the heats of formation of the products and subtract from that the heats of formation from the reactants. Let me do an easy example with you to show you how it's done, okay? Let's suppose that we have a chemical reaction where we have two molecules of A plus one molecule of B, and those reactants react to form this product, one molecule that's A to B. Let's say that's what's going on here, okay? So we're gonna to wanna to start with the products. Let's say we look in the back of a book and we find out that A2B has a standard heat of formation of three. So we'll start with three, okay? Then let's say that we find out that B has a standard heat of formation of two. Okay, so we're gonna subtract the sum of our reactants. We'll take that two for B. Then let's say we find out that A has a standard heat of formation of one. But notice, we have two molecules of A. So I'm not just gonna write one here, I'm gonna write one times two, because we have two of them. Then, this is pretty simple math here, we can just say one times two is two, two plus two is four, three minus four is negative one. All right, that's an example of how this is done. But I wanna point out one important thing that might catch you, okay? It's important to remember that if something is in its elemental form, it's going to have a standard heat of formation of zero. What do I mean by elemental form? Elemental form is essentially when we only have that element and no other elements. So for example, if we just have helium gas floating around, just like this, that would be its standard elemental form. And so its standard heat of formation would be zero. A similar thing happens with O2. Because even though there's two atoms here, they're both atoms of oxygen and we only have oxygen bonded to itself. Now that we know that, let's take a look back at this problem and see what we can figure out, all right? Basically, I have this reaction here and I wanna figure out the standard change in enthalpy. 2Mg plus O2 becomes 2MgO, okay? And it tells me up here that MgO has a standard heat of formation of negative 501 kilojoules per mole. How do I wanna go about figuring this out? Well, first, I'm gonna start with figuring out the standard heat of formation of my products. MgO is negative 501, but since there's two of them, I'm going to multiply that by two. So I'll have two times negative 501. Then I want to subtract the standard heats of formation of my reactants. But notice, like we were talking about before, if something is in its elemental form, it's going to have a standard heat of formation of zero. And you'll notice here that if we look closely, all we have here is magnesium, just two magnesium atoms. And all we have here is oxygen. There are two atoms, but it's just an oxygen bond to itself. So that's gonna be an elemental form as well, which means we're dealing really with this, minus two times zero for the magnesium, and then plus zero for that elemental oxygen, because both of these are elemental. So this ends up becoming zero if we multiply and add that out, which means we're just dealing with two times negative 501. And that tells us that our correct answer is going to be this one right here, negative 1002. Awesome. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. Now, if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how we can help you maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.